Another free agent signing has happened today, and it is once again in Viseria. After AS Roma let go of Pedro Rodriguez, he went to Lazio. Another Roma player who was let go this summer has joined a Serie A club, and that is Juan Jesus, who will be joining Napoli this summer. The deal is done. It is official. Juan Jesus, the Brazilian ex-international, is joining Napoli on a one-year contract until the end of the season, but it does have a player option. This is a very interesting deal, guys, because for me, Napoli do need depth at center back, only really right now having for quality starters, Manolas and Koulibaly, who are by far number ones. They don't really have a backup. They have Romani, and then they have no one. They have Juan Jesus now. For me, Juan Jesus is still a decent enough backup. He is Serie A experience. Yes, he is 30 and getting up there in age, but for his game, he can play a passing style of football. He can pass out of the back. He shouldn't have to worry about getting out of position, but it'll be a good fit for Napoli to just have him in for the cup competitions, and in case of injuries, he is good enough for me. I've been seeing mixed comments about this one. I've been seeing people say it's a steal for a year, and I've been seeing people say, no, he's dead wood. For me, he falls somewhere in the middle. Like I said, if you're looking at Napoli, they really don't have any depth at all at center back, but if you're looking at Juan Jesus, and you're looking at his past couple of years, he is six foot tall. He is 30 years old. So he's not too old. He's not too young. If you're looking at his performances in the last year or so, last year in 2020, 2021 for Roma, only appearing five times and starting none of them. Playing 157 minutes, not much time at all. The season before that, 1920, he then started or then played four games, starting one of them with less minutes than he had last year of 139. So the past two seasons, he's totaled for a total of nine games with around close to 300 minutes. That is extremely low, extremely poor, but you do have to look at the Roma back line with likes of Mancini, the likes of Chris Smalling, uh, Ibanez, so many quality center backs there. That is also another reason why Juan Jesus does not see the light of day or time to play in that Roma side, which I'm not surprised because they have so many quality center backs. But it is telling and it does show a reason why Juan Jesus isn't playing. Age is catching up to him. He isn't what he used to be. If you look at 18-19, he did play 20 and 15 starts, 22 and 18 starts in the year before that. So he is quality. We do know he has a lot of Serie A experience. And for me, if you're asking me if this is a good transfer for Napoli bringing in a free agent like Juan Jesus, I think it's a brilliant signing. I think it's top quality signing for Napoli. I know a lot of people are going to question it, saying he's dead wood, he's not good enough anymore. But if looking at Napoli's depth at center back, it is paper, paper thin. If like Sakula Bayi or Manolas gets injured, they are really screwed. At least this way, you were taking a really low risk gamble on the likes of Juan Jesus. You know he's Serie A proven, you know he can step in. He might not be up to the quality of Manolas or Kulabai, but he will step in, give you some Serie A experience, be a calm head, and do what he needs to do and fill in for those big boys, and he can still play in cup competitions, and this gives Napoli a realization that they have a backup, and they don't have to be so worried in case there's an injury. This is probably a pretty good signing, in my opinion, guys. I don't think it's as bad as some people do think. I think it is a steal for a year. They do have that option if Juan Jesus does come out well, and I think this is a fantastic signing for both parties. Guys, let me know what you guys think down below of the transfer for Alex and Napoli and Juan Jesus, and what do you guys think of the video in general? I'll be having lots more amazing content coming out on transfers, rumors, news all the time, match reactions, match previews. So guys, if you're in that kind of stuff, hit that sub button if you already haven't. Drop a like, drop a comment. Love talking to you guys, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace, guys.